Okay, so I went out today and I bought some knives. Um, the Forged and Fire knives are supposed to be as strong as what they were to use on their show. Um, we got some different things to try and cut. Um, so the paring knife is supposed to be able to cut like super fine, super thin. So we're going to try that with like a tomato and a grape. And then we are going to use the chef's knife and we are going to cut the avocado and the melon and we're going to see how many water bottles we can cut through. Um, so let's start. So these say they come with a 50 year warranty. Let's see if I can get them out of here. I'm going to use scissors. Okay. So then one of the other things that I had got to cut is a block of ice because they showed them cut through the ice without a problem. I'm going to do the ice first just because it's going to start melting. Um, so it has like a really nice handle. It has some weight to it. Paring knife as well. A little bit of weight. So we're going to see how this goes. All right, I did not hit it very hard. <laughs> I shook it out. All right, let me move it this way a little bit. I don't want to hit my hand on the table. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. That is not right there, so I used plastic wrap, which is not helping to try and freeze it. Um, so it would come out a little easier, but I just stuck to the ice more than anything. All right, let's try this again. I keep going at an angle when it hits, but it does cut right through. I feel like if I didn't chicken out, it would cut right through to start with. Um, but yeah, it literally goes right through. So that is amazing. <laughs> All right, so we have our grate. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to see how thin we can slice it. Do you want to bring it up here? Mm -hmm. See how easy we can get this to go through. That does cut very nice. Holy cow. So you can see it is literally see-through on how fine you're able to cut it. That is insane. And it just literally is so smooth. It goes straight through. So that is awesome. So cool. I mean, that is like so thin. All right. So next. The infomercial shows you, shows them cutting a tomato without holding it or anything. So we're going to try it. I think it's going to roll. I might need, I brought tape out to tape the bottom. Let me tape the bottom of it. Wait. Okay. I don't know if it's going to cut straight through. Let's see how we do. It is so fine though. I'll just cut it like this. All right, let's see how the tomato cuts. So super fine, super easy. This is so cool. If you could cut in a straight line, it'd be much easier for you. Okay, but that's so cool. So this tomato actually is an older tomato too. It's a little bit soft but still cuts through super easy and super fine, which is amazing. All right, so let's get this cleaned up and then we'll move on. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is this honeydew. It's a honey melon, I think is what it called it. We are going to see if we can use this. So basically we're just gonna use this now and not the paring knife. We're gonna cut through here. We're going to cut through the avocado supposed to cut straight through the court and then we're going to cut through the water bottles like I said. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try and cut this one and I'm not going to check it out this time. Holy crap. All right, so that cut this thing right in half. Well, I saw this, so it smells good. <laughs> that is amazing and I love it and I want to cut everything now. All right, so moving on. I mean, straight through, nice and clean, looks great. So that was absolutely amazing. So we are going to cut the avocado, like I said earlier in the infomercial, 
it shows them cut straight through the um, the inside and through what is that thing called? The pit. The pit. Or the pit. 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 Something like that. So it's gonna cut through everything. Through the seed. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna try this. I'm not taping it down or anything. We're just gonna cut. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is the avocado. And in the infomercial it shows that they go straight through the spit pit or seed. Go straight through the flesh. Pith, whatever, the seed of it. Oh, holy cow. So it does. It goes literally straight through with that. Like, completely smooth as can be in there. That is amazing. That is so cool. All right, so next I'm gonna get the water bottle set up and we're going to cut them and see how many we can get through. All right, so we have all the water bottles set up and we are going to swipe and Hold see on. how many we can get. Oh, I went up. So I'm gonna try this again and this time aim a little lower. I aimed too high up and just took the tops off. All right. I still cut up some, but it does cut straight through the plastic without a problem. Okay, so overall, based on these knives, they're very nice. I love them. I would definitely recommend getting them. They actually say forged and fire on them as well. They have like a nice sturdy blade, has great handles on both of them. Um, the chef knife is has like a great handle and a great like weight to it too to help cut through things. So very cool paring knife. I love it, super sharp. I'll probably use it more just because I use it more in the kitchen, but yeah, super cool. Definitely recommend them. Try them out.